Hello students of Standard 8. Welcome to this YouTube channel of Monbrecia. I think you people are all well at home. Now we are just completing our question answers of Geography Chapter 2 Natural Resources. We have already given I have a sorry, I have already given few questions and answers. I think you people have written those answers, learning it at home. Now my next question will is what are the factors? What are the factors responsible for water scarcity? water scarcity okay now she answers factors responsible for water scarcity are factors responsible for water scarcity are number one growing population See, population is the main cause of all factors or means all negative factors of a country is totally depends upon growing population. Growing population is the cause of all the negative factors for a country that is water scarcity, pollution, environmental pollution, well, food scarcity, everything. So, growing population is responsible for it. So, if you write in every negative points, if you write growing population, it will be correct. Number two, commercialization of agriculture. You see the spelling, it is a little bigger one. C O M M E R C I A L I S A T I O N. Commercialization of agriculture. Previously, agriculture was done for fulfill the stomach of each and every Indians. Now, agriculture is, has become commercialization. That means, means agriculture is being now done for profit, for export. So, maximum agriculture is done. For agriculture, irrigation facilities are required. Water supply is required. And that is also one reason of water scarcity. Number three, Variation in variation V A B A R I A T I O N variation in annual and seasonal precipitation. Precipitation means rainfall. Now it varies. Sometimes too much heavy rain, sometimes no rain. So these are the different variations in annual and seasonal precipitation give rise to water scarcity. Our fourth point, industrialization and urbanization. Too many industries, construction of too many industries in a country is obviously good for the economic benefit of the country. It will give maximum employment, but each and every industries require a huge quantity of water. So industrialization and urbanization is the also one major cause of water scarcity. And the last one is pollution. If water gets polluted, although we are having water, we cannot use it. So pollution is also one cause of water scarcity. So there are five points, growing population, commercialization of agriculture, variation in annual and seasonal precipitation, industrialization and urbanization, pollution. Now next question is, now our next question is explain any three methods, explain any three methods of water conservation of water conservation there are many methods but we have to here explain in the question given 
three methods of water conservation means how can we conserve water how can we which methods we can use for decreasing water scarcity now see the first method is surface runoff surface runoff can be slowed down means the flowing of water the blowing of water on the surface can be slowed down means when rain falls too much the water also flows down so what is the way of stopping the, that water surface runoff can be slowed down by forests and other vegetation by forests and other vegetation cover other vegetation cover to improve underground storage to improve underground storage means if we afforestation if we do afforestation or if we plant more and more plants on the ground then water will be absorbed by the roots of these and it the underground level of the water will remain constant my next point water can also be impounded means can also be conserved water can also be impounded by making check dams by making check dams means flowing of water can be made conserved by making check dam making barriers in the way of the water flow rain water our third point rain water harvesting rain water harvesting technique t e c h n i q u e should be used rain water harvesting means when the rain water which falls on the roof those water are just blowing away or flowing away through the drain so if we can collect those water and keep it for our future use at least for irrigation then water can be conserved so these are the points of water conservations factors responsible water scarcity so copy down and please learn by heart thank you